All right, welcome to Riverside Farm. This is my house where I sleep. What a lovely place that is. I mean, we've got satellite. <laughs> uh, this is Springwood Farm. There's no buildings on it, but there is potential to build. And um, this map is absolutely huge. Let's just have a quick look at the map before we go. So, this is Springwood Farm, I think it's called. And apparently, there's a, there's a sign on the gate here. And this is our farm here. And we own all the fields that are in green. That's um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> Excuse me. 76 and 29 so we've got three grass fields and four arable fields and we've got a cow pasture and we own all the road the, the roads and um, had to buy all that for nothing because i wanted to buy where is it on here somewhere there's a um, a deaf Diesel exhaust fluid that cars have nowadays, tractors have it also. So what we'll do is we'll jump into a little Kubota, which is my little tractor that I use <coughs> to transport and loading stuff. Also to return to the house to rest. As you can see, it's early spring and it's a, quite a nice day. 22 degrees air temperature and 14 degrees for the soil, so we are good to plant. So we'll jump into the little Kubota and we'll go down to the farm. Even got my own little garage shop. Right, let's get down to the farm. There's some work to do today. So the little Kubota. Quite a, a nice little tractor this. It's uh, 66 horsepower. Right, the field, we're just passing on the, on the, which looks white is the one that I am going to be working in today. We just limed it off off screen. It needed liming, and then we're going to cultivate it. It doesn't need ploughing. Right, and this way. Yeah, it is called Springwood Farm. That's where we we are. And our farm, I think, is called Riverside Farm, which is here. And you can see all the oh, car coming. Now, what you start for? I was going to go. I always talk to the AI. Be careful with the little little tractor because these cattle grids do have a, a big effect on my wheels. <coughs> the bigger tractors are okay. Right here we are. Then you can see my farm. Quite a big farm. Lots of sheds. Lots of storage for grain. So let's park up. Um, over here somewhere. Left me over tractor. Got three tractors. Yeah. I'll leave my little tractor around the corner there. And uh, we'll jump out. And we'll have a little tour of the farm before we go. I believe I've got some stuff in these sheds. Let's 
So, for all the equipment here, and uh, first of all, we'll look at the, the, the machinery before we look at the implements. So, we've got the little Kubota, as I would. Kubota? Which is. We spent most of the morning off screen getting all the equipment down to the farm. This is a. It got a bit dirty this, this, this morning because I did a contract farm because we had to repair another tractor and it put us into debt a little bit so we did a little job for a farmer so yeah and haven't got a facility to wash it yet this is the Renault 936RZ Atles or is it Atles I don't know you can find this tractor on fs19.net uh, not on Rod Hub very nice tractor fully spec'd out 250 horsepower. This is our main tractor. This is the main tractor. And obviously, these are the front loader, bell spike, and pallet fork for the Kubota because he's going to be the one doing all the seed bringing and fertilizer. There's a weight for his counterbalance there. There's a weight for the Renault and this tractor we just got this morning which is gonna do some more liming when i've got the money to do it um this is the lid lid lidner and i put it in a nice star orange i thought i'd, I'd keep the orange theme looks good this is 102 horsepower nice little tractor that so different um they're the machines, and then there's one other machine I need to show. Is the you probably caught a glimpse of it. This is the, the combine harvester. It's over here. This is what we chose off Mod Hub because the, most of the in-game ones are just too expensive to our budget. This is the Case International Axial Flow Four One Three O. And it comes with, I think it's 7.6 meter cutter bar and the trailer. I've, we have put it in a 10B green livery, which is rather nice with the dirt brown wheel rims. Same with the header, matching the header trailer as well. So, yeah, that's all the machinery we've got so far. Moving on. Uh, this is the cultivator that we used this morning. This is a Cavernland cultivator. Five and a half meters. We're going to be using this in a few minutes. Over to the next one, we've got uh, what we've got here. We've got another Cavernland. This is a, our plant, uh, no, not a planter, it's a cedar. Um, five meters. Over to the planter. Uh, what's this one? Four and a half meters. Yeah, another Cavernland, keeping the same color scheme. Apart from that one. Oh no, it's got blue on it. I like that color scheme. And then we move on to our uh, fertilizer spreader. This is a sulky. Does it say sulky? Yeah, this is the sulky. Uh, Twenty-four meters spreading width and these are quite common in the, in, the, in the uk actually i've seen these about this can go up to 50 meters if you want to you can modify it in my garage and what we got next and we move on to our grass cutting equipment if we have grass fields and we will have cows eventually so we've got the tether which turns the grass over to help it dry making hay and we've got Oh, what was that one? Uh, that was a that was a kern. And then we got the Cavernland TA seven by three C, which is a wind grower. And this holds so for grass grass work. This brings all the grass into rows, so it makes it easier for our balers to use to get to grow. Moving out of this shed, and we go into this shed.
we have a old Ford Baylor, and this is a great little mod. I found this on FS19.net, and this is one of the very few Baylors I found that will actually let you have the bail if it's just as long as it's 50% done, it will actually spit it out the back. Not many of them do that. This is a sip. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is a bale wrapping machine. So we can wrap the grass bales and then I'll ferment them into silage ready for feeding to your cows. Here we have our grain trailer, our Marsden trailers. And we also have a Marsden 22 foot bale trailer. Love, I love that trailer. We've used it in a previous, on a previous farm. And I think that's it. Got that shed. <clears throat> right, what have we got over here then? Um, I think this is where you can store fertilizers and seeds. I've not really investigated that. Can I, yeah, seed. Lime. Could that, could that be somewhere I could get lime? Let me try that. It could be a storage actually. <clears throat> it might be. Anyway, look, many sheds. We've got a diesel fuel there. We have to fill that up though. And there's our desk. We have to fill that up. But I've installed the pump down at the petrol station on the map. So we can fill. There's only one tractor on here that requires death, and that's the Renault. That's where the that's where the milk comes from on the cows this is our grain stores i'm not sure how this works because in each and every one of these is a, a different i presume you put corn in there. Well, i've noticed there are the pipes on top so you can get the stuff out so i'm presuming Each one of these is a different crop. So in order to get that different crop on. Is that wheat? Well that looks like wheat. And this looks like barley, possibly. Th this is not real crop, this is just I, put, I presume it's, yeah, it's not real crop, that, that'll be your oats. And then over here, so I think you have to come to these individual... What's that? Rapeseed oil. Yeah, it's quite interesting, because normally you have all your crops in one silo, and then it just take it out of one of those. I wonder if you have to back the trailer into here to dump it then. This is some flowers. Uh, not sure what that is. <clears throat> Could be millet. I know we can do millet on this map. I think that's corn. I'll have to look into it. And we'll have a look on here in a minute. When do you finish saving? That's it. Yeah, we've got wheat, barley. Oats, oil seed. Oh no, that's soya bean, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. There is another store for potato and all that. <coughs> sugar beet. I don't know where they are though. <coughs> Anyways, and then there's only one other thing to look at, and then it's my lawnmowers. Which is here. I think that's it. This is the farm. Uh, this is the where the cows will be. And all this grass out here. <laughs> out. Right, so I think we need to do some cultivating. Uh, I'm not sure. That'll be, um, I believe that's, um, yes, that's a um, silage clamp. Excellent. Nice to know. <clears throat> right, so, um, oh, no, 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 this is where you, all ah, right, I take it, that's where you pour it all in, then. and these, these pipes where you take it out, <clears throat> the 
put a creep behind here. No. This is our big brain star. Excellent. So, I'm not sure where the potatoes are at, Liz. Or unless you have to take them to the potato stars. I don't know. I haven't discovered that on this farm. Anyway, that's the tour of my farm. So we better do some work because time's now half past two. So we'll jump into the Renault. The Renault. This is a two, 2002, 2003 tractor. Get that. We'll just get this weight on as well because even though this doesn't require a weight, found you really do need it. Gives it back to a lot, little bit extra balance. So we'll raise the weight. Excellent. Right. Let's get out of here. Uh, tracks is a bit filthy. I really do need to buy a washer when we get the chance. Let's go find that cultivator. I've got it in one of these sheds around here, if I remember correctly. And then we'll go and. Um, oh, yeah, it's the end shed in it. Okay then. We'll reverse back into here and get all of this. Right, let's attach this with an our uniform lift up. Perfect. Right, let's go do what was it? Field eight was it? The one I'd already the one I already lined. I gotta get the other one lined, but hopefully I'm gonna get the other contract job done. We did spend a little we spent quite a lot of money. Um, started off with £1.3 million. Pounds. That's all the equipment that was on this farm we didn't want. <coughs> so we sold it off to get the tractors I wanted. I mean, the tractors were nice, but nah, not, not big enough. Not what I wanted anymore. Anyway. So well, anyway, let's get this done. Let's get this field cultivated. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's an uphill farm, so it's going to be also. It's going to be a little bit. Let's see what you like up here with this. Okay. Oh god, look at that. There's a tree right in the middle. Oh god. That tree needs to come out. Unfortunately, that tree sort of took a tiny little bit of fail. How are we doing? Uh, right, it shouldn't take too long this thing. Not big. It's not a big job. I did a field earlier as a contract. It was nearly nearly 19 acres. It took a bloody while to do it. Not sure what crop we're putting in here yet. Let's get that done. I'm sure we'll find one. There is some interesting. Crops on this map. 
Well, uh, other than just the base game. Take the headland off and then we can start going up and down. I love the textures, the soil textures on this map are so good compared to the base game. Very soft suspension on this pattern, that's the one thing I've noticed about it. Right. I need to move over a touch more that way. I'm so used to putting them on workers, but if you do that. You get your jobs done quite quickly, and then you spend the rest of the day with nothing to do. We've got a, I don't know, this um, new crops in the game. One of them's millet. Well, I don't think I, I never have seen millet. With rye in the game as well. I, I've done, I've done rye before. Never done millet. That would be interesting. That will be interesting to see how that works. There's another crop called it, it's Spoggum. There's also carrots and onions, I've done them before. The machinery is so expensive. So we'll crack on with this. And then hopefully we'll get a couple of contract jobs to then try and build some money. I need to buy some lime. And the lime spreader that's behind the lid the tractor is on lease. And if I keep it too long it'll cost me more money. So we'll get this done. Yes, yeah, so it will. Say that this Renault has got a very bouncy suspension. But it's good. It's comfortable. It's a very nice tractor. With a five, uh, five and a half metre, which is not be nice to do. So it'll be a small field. I think it's probably, probably as, probably as far as the office. Now. Try to keep it straight on this bit. But yeah, the, there's only these two fields that needed the line. So I thought we'd better get them done because it helps you pro the productivity of the field. Line up. I think you get gives you a percentage bonus for liming. Increases yield. Same with like uh, periodic ploughing. Helps it and uh, make, you have to fertilise three times as well. As those bits we missed. Concentrate on getting this bit done first.
And the other field that I need to do in is number six. I don't think any of that. That needs lime in. I'm not sure how much lime it's going to be. In fact, we do have enough money to buy a bag of lime. Probably go and get a bag. See how far we get. Well, look, this map's not long come out. And when I saw that, I thought, wow, this is massive. I can enjoy this map. So it's based in the UK. Not sure whereabouts. I think it's fictional. This tractor has got some interactive features as well. It's, it's got um, interactive doors, you can open them. An interactive back window and it's got an interactive rear window there. Simple IC as they call it, simple in interactive controls. I think that's all you get on it now. At least it's something. Right. This might be the last piece. Could be. And then we'll get on to the line in. How we doing? Oh, it's just a bit there. <coughs> Gonna get a crop in the ground hopefully tomorrow or today. We'll see how we go. Uh, let's try and catch them pieces we missed. <coughs> it's a shame that tree's there. Not too worried. Not to worry. It's only just in in the board in 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 the field. How are we doing? Oh, that's <coughs> This tractor really does pull the up elves. Right, let's go around here and then finish off. A few strips to get. Catching everything now. That's our little piece there. Right, let's go back up the other and get the other bits. <clears throat> There's one thing I need to buy, and that's a weeding, uh, a sprayer. Got me eye on one. I wanted to use it for ages, but I haven't found the right farm to put it on. I've got it. I haven't got it yet, but it's a, a self-propelled one. It's not one I have to put on the tractor. It's just those two little bits. Now we're done. <clears throat> Don't know what was growing in here before. Right, I think that's it all. Looks like it. Fold that up. Oh, 
right. Field seven's a grass field, that's for the cows. <coughs> oh, break. By the way, I went that way. Right, let's take this back. some line <laughs> see how far we get right we'll leave that there some contacts on here somewhere. Right, we'll st so let's just look at the map. Which is here. And then we'll go to and yeah, that's that one. That that one needs lining. Cool. So yeah, on the year we've got, these are your general crops, wheat, barley, oat, cotton, cotton, we won't do cotton. So you're not growing that in the UK. Canola, or oil seed, uh, sunflower, soybean, corn, potato, sugar beet, oil seed, radish, that's a, like a green fertiliser. Popular trees, grass, sugar cane, which is not really going to be done. Carrots, um, onion, millet. Sorghum and rye. I'm not sure what you do with sorghum. We'll have a look into that. Let's have a look at some sort of sewing contact there. Ooh. Cultivating contact there. Or we could do with the money. Let's have a look what we got. Plowing, plowing, I don't do plowing. Um, don't want to do that one. Cultivating, cultivating. Um, this one looks good. Field, um, field 11, we'll accept that. We'll do field 60 as well. Accept that one. And we'll do 17. And 15. And then that should give us what? Five and a half. Nine. It's part of 15 grand, I think. Right, I'm going to take this down to the... Where are we going? Where's the biggest one? Eleven, fifteen, seventeen, and... Right, field 11, let's do it. Shouldn't be far from here, surely. Field 11. Field 11. Where is it? It's a fairly big field. Field 11. All oh, right, right down there. Slip it now. Do I get to that? Go out the other entrance and come straight down here. Turn right. Right again. Right again. Not. Right. 
Right, we'll get down there and we'll set this on to a worker. Get that money earned. And then <laughs> I shall go and get some lime and make a start on that field. A cattle grid. Right, we're going to make a start on that field. Turn right at the end. Yeah, we'll go do that. We need the money. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the expenses are on this farm because I haven't done a full day on it yet. Hey, oh, is this the river? Yeah, I like that. That's cool. That's why it's called Riverside Farm. I like that waterfall. That was really nice. I believe that's another farm on that side of the river there. I'll show what that farm is. Hopefully we'll own that. One day. Right, just gonna check them out. Um where do we need to go? Turn right again, I think. Yeah. That's a dead end down there. So let's go to the end of the road, and then where are we going after that? Would be a uh, left turn, then a left again. Oh, that's it, I'm sorry. Oop. And what number field was it? 11. That's going to be on my right, just past that bio gas plant. Cool. I think I got the I think I got the idea where it's now. This, the seat on this tractor doesn't just bounce up and down, it, it sways left and right. Another farm here. <coughs> I think there's another farm. Yeah, one there. One up there. When we get down the end of this road, I think we're bare left, don't we? Very, very bouncy seat. Is it down here? It is down here, isn't it? Okay, let me just make sure we're not going to where we shouldn't be going. Yeah, we're... The field 15 is coming up on our right. This field... There, that's another contact I'm going to do. Field 11, I believe, is this field here? Is it? Yeah. Right, well, we need to get the gates open. <coughs> We can make a start on it. What's going on here? What is that? It's called field of other. This one here. Yeah. 
it failed. Not the biggest fail. It's in the size of the pin that these do. Let's get a worker on this one. Field 11. Three Edlin passes. Work to do it. I think it's been ploughed. Well, I know it's work we've been asked to cultivate it, so. Right, he'll get doing that. I don't know how long it's going to take him. Hang on a minute, we'll just jump back in. It's going to take him about, what, an hour and 12 minutes? Yeah, surely not. Oh well. I'm gonna go and find another job then. If that's gonna take him an hour, 12 minutes. <coughs> right, we'll hook up to this. And... We shall... Go and collect a bit more lime and see how far we get on field six. Did we give this a paint job? I can't remember. I think we did. Yeah, we repaired it. <coughs> and we gave it a paint job. I think we gave it a paint job. Sure we did. Just want to wash. Sure, where you get a line from. What is that? Um, not there. Let's go check out them, sh <coughs> them thingies. I don't know if they're meant to be, if that's the storage or do we, can we get it from there? I don't know. storage places, aren't they? Yeah. There must be. I haven't found the lime the lime stage on this map. Usually get them. Right, let's go back to the shop then. <coughs> See how far we go with it. Oh, God, that's the first time I've seen cattle grids on a, on a map. It's like I say that this fertilizer spreader does lime and fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's. Um, it's on loan so release releasing this so we don't want to be keeping it for too long. We've only got the two fields to do. It's quite a wide little truck. Steering is very slow as well. Well, 
but it's only 100, like I said, 102 horsepower. So I bought it mainly for grass work. It won't be doing the mowing because it ain't got enough horsepower to do that. The two, or, the two mowers need about approximately 120 to run them. So it'll be probably Ted in, maybe windrow in, pulling a baler, maybe wrapping. And then kick them, carting bales off the field. That kind of thing. Here's the class dealership. And we're going to the crack parts. It's probably about the time the map we have to do with this. Bag of lime. 450 square foot. Is it? Oh, it's that over there. Nice dealership. Not been inside yet. After class. And the Dutch fire there. What's the plan? Lemke. Yeah, Lemke. Thought it was. And then over here is where you come to sell your equipment. It's also a cash point where you check your fire taxes. And this is where you sell your stuff. And if you bring your equipment back to the store, you get 20% more than what you do if you just sell it from your garage. Right, let's take this bag of lime in the back. Just seen some over there. Was it over there or over there? Um, <clears throat> I reckon I think there might be a lime store a lime station on this map somewhere. It's got to be one. I'm not going to go looking for it because we don't have much money and we've got to make sure we blast out on fuel until some more income comes in. So we'll go and do this liming on the field 26. Very interesting. This one don't have any interrupt. This one comes in red as a as a nat, as its base colour. Orange looks good. We don't own that. Well, I think it's a sheep farm. Ah. I think we're going here. I just backed into a car. Oh dear. Insurance claim. He was. I bet he were happy. Sorry. Oh, he's gone. Right, yeah, I presume this is where you go for your fix. I can't see any other way to get into it. Right, 
Field number six. This is the one that we need to line. There probably is another way in. Just haven't spotted it. Well, I presume it's through that gate there. Right, let's see how far we get on 2,600 litres. Probably not far. When we are going at a full 12 miles an hour, what we're supposed to do. Very wide. Another tree on the corner of the field. One thing I notice is the hedgerows are not passable like on some maps. You will actually bump into them. You can't use them as shortcuts. You've got to find the actual farm entrances. Field entrances. Right, we're doing quite well. I think we're going to need at least another couple of bags. Might make it round once, I think. We're gonna make it round. Make it round once. Yeah, we will do. Our field as well, number five. Well, it's our canola in it or something. Yes, yeah. We got I got further than I thought I would. So don't have to use it quick. There you go, we run out. Right then. I'll take this back to the farm. Wait till our other tractor's got some money. back and finish it later. Yeah, I think that's a sheep, a sheep farm, possibly. So I told you. Oh, I don't think we can. Or can we? No, because we don't own it. Does it? No, we don't own it. 
Oh, so we can't go into the animal dialogues to put to the air in an aircraft on this map, and I haven't seen it yet. Oh, there it is. That's so nice. Woo! Must be near an airport. That's coming in, though. Wow. I heard it this morning when I first moving the equipment down, but because I was sat in the tractor, I couldn't get the camera up high enough to see where, the, where it was. Well, uh, but I'll return to that when we've got the bonds and uh, it'll be dark soon. I don't think it gets dark about five, six o'clock. So, let's go back to the farm. I want that I want that lining out of the way by tonight so I can return this back to the dealership. Because I've only got it on lease and it's costing me nearly two grand a day just to have it. I don't have two thousand pounds to be chucking out of there. Um I'll stick it over here for now. I think that's where your manure comes, you know. I think it is. Right. Why did you hook it up again? I don't think there'll be any grass ready to cut it up. Check. Grass. Is he stuck? No, he's moving. He's down here. Um, no, the grass ain't ready yet. It's still growing. What's this? Ready to harvest. What's in that field? Oilseed radish. Someone's planted oilseed radish in that field. Um, yeah, none of the grass is ready to go yet. It's too early. This is our garage, this shows you all the equipment that we've actually got. Got the Linda Lin Track 90. Don't know why it's a 90, it's got a bunch of horsepower. It says it does 24 mile an hour and it does 26. It's a plant in there. I think we've got some seeds in there. Yeah. Still not sure what to plant. Um, I'll go into this. Right, we're going to put a crop in anyway. Field 8, is it? Yeah, field 8. It's warm enough to plant just about everything. Do we have a front hydraulic on this? We do. We don't have a lot of diesel though. Well. Um, This one. We're going to need a 
wait. Um, I'll nick the one off the off the um, the boat. Um. Well, he's not using it anyway. Got not a lot of days in this thing, but uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, there's a wait here. I believe we need to wait for it. If I remember correctly. Do we need to wait for this? No, it says we don't, but I think I will put it on now. This has got enough power to run that planter. Good to go there. Do we need a, a shot? Yep. And that four and a half meters. I'd have to look. We have got seed in it already. That's good. So what we're gonna plant? <coughs> What do we need? What do we need? Sorg and that looks that. Let's see what we need. Ah, so normal combine arrows just will do Sorg. What is Sorg? It's some sort of a, like a um, millet is type thing. That's millet. Saga. Hmm. Don't know much about it. We'll do saga. I know. What sort of price do we get for saga? Um. Ooh, pretty decent. Over a thousand pounds per ton. Yeah, let's do saga. Fuel and everything on here. I don't think there's any fuel in that. I would have thought so. Start filling. Yeah, it's empty. You've got to bring diesel back to here. Do it. Never mind. We could do that at some at some stage by just getting a little tank thing what you can get and bring the load back. Well since we now lined that thing up, I think we should go get some diesel before we start. Um There is the hook petrol station. Right over there. Um, is that the only place we'd get a petrol? Oh, fine, okay. Okay then. Looks like we're off that way then. We should have only got some before then, but no man.
so. Let's get the crop in the ground today, and then tomorrow we'll, um, the next game day I'll, uh, get the cultivation done on the next field. In fact, I've got that biggish field, which is actually, when I bought it, it was got withered carrots in it. The carrots have gone back to seed, so they all want cultivating in. Big forest here, but that's worth a bit of money. On the map there, the dotted bit on the map, that's a forest which you can buy. Uh, and then, then you've got your wood, your wood saw, your sawmill, what do you call it? And all that lot, that, that's all in there. I think, I think it's a farm. Or a wood yard, a wood, a wood yard. Uh, it's a petrol station. It's a long way. This one doesn't have def. We had to install the def pump. I was going to put it on my farm, but couldn't find the room to put it. So I just put it there. It was the only place I could put it. It wouldn't let me do it in line with the pumps because it's too close to anything. So if we need DEF, there's only one track that requires it. So we have to come here and fill up with the all the ad blue as they call it. Diesel. What is diesel? That was quick. Instant. One hundred and sixteen pounds. It's nearly empty. I want that. Yeah, the DEF. That's that little pump here, or what we call AdBlue, diesel exhaust fluid, it's done so. Mixture, mix the exhaust cleaner, apparently. And here's the supermarket. I don't know what that place is. I think you can sell stuff there. To them. Well, luckily this planter only requires 70 horsepower, so we'll see how it goes. It should be able to run it. Thirty horsepower left to run the tractor. Tractor will be fine. We'll see. How, we'll see. I don't have my other tractor is busy at the minute. I'm sure. But this, the Renault is the main tractor on the farm. This tractor, a bit limited to what it can do. Long way back. It is when you're only doing 26 miles an hour. <laughs> we'll get this field planted anyway.
Once the first contract's done, I'll have to get that lineman finished. Hopefully, by then, he'll have planted. We will have planted the first field. Sorghum. I'll do a bit of research on that crop. I don't know what that is. It's obviously some sort of cereal. to come in on its field field 8 I don't need to go in through that gate for field 8 do I I can cut in through it's, it's on the way to spring to the springwood farm so basically I own everything pretty much to the right of this road Just below the cow farm. Hmm. Let's see how he does. chainsaw at some point and get rid of that field, that, that field, that tree. Four and a half metres, let's do three headlands. Um, turn in. Yeah, you're going to have to miss that bit of tree out. And it's not going to really make no difference. Mind you, he is pulled up the hill quite easily. I will set him on a worker anyway. Right, so... We'll leave the worker to carry on and we'll call the episode to an end. So, thanks for watching and give me some, give me some. And uh, we'll probably catch it on game, on the next game date. Whenever that, whatever jobs we've got lined up. Are gone. Is that the way he missed a bit there? He might go back to it. But he seems to be pulling that, okay. Right, so we'll leave it there and we'll come back tomorrow where we'll have some more jobs to Hopefully, by tomorrow we'll. Have the other field. The other field should be lined, and and possibly a crop put in there. Not sure what crop, but so see you next time.